Greetings, everyone. How are you all doing today? I say, okay, perfect. Peace and blessings. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday is the day. Good morning. I'm late, you all. Like, all of a sudden, I was like, oh my God, I'm late. <laughs> it's, I feel like since the eclipse happened, I can feel a tremendous momentum kicking in and moving us forward. The fascinating thing is I'm also aware, excuse me, that eclipse season is starting. So we are, Pluto went into retrograde a few weeks ago. Mercury went into retrograde last week. And we are now in the second, this will be the second, start of the second week for Mercury retrograde. And, um, and then Saturn's about to go into retrograde. So we're moving into retrograde season. <laughs> And um, thank you, but I'm always on time. I appreciate that. Um, but the energy, there is a momentum happening. And, you know, in, in sort of the spiritual world or, you know, uh, what I want to call it, the occult world, there's been this talk that the realities are going to split. And I haven't really paid that much attention to it yet because I'm so busy with meeting my responsibility, right? which is to help people realize that we all have a responsibility here. We're all here for something. We're not here to just um, work for, you know, some corporation or make money or we're not here to just be mothers or we're here to actually function in a specific way for this time on the planet, which is aligned to the shift out of the age of Pisces and into the age of Aquarius. The thing that is, I, you always hear me talk about is how tricky it is because we are really encased in the reality that was built by white men. That is this Western patriarchal capitalistic world and that captures our attention. It captures our energy. It captures our um, desires and oftentimes delays us, delays us or distracts us from what we're really up to, which is to be about the business of the creator. And sometimes I feel really funny talking about like God and creator and stuff like that because I was raised so Christian, you know, and, and I'm not a Christian anymore. Let me really say, I am not a Christian. I do not believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I don't believe that anybody needs to believe that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. And if people believe it, I honor that. Because I believe what I believe, and my belief says that I don't need an intermediary a be intermediary between myself and the Creator. I don't believe that anybody needs it, that, but if people believe they need that, then so be it. Nothing is wrong with any of it. It's just not my truth, right? So with that, though, sometimes it's challenging for me to talk about God things because I was so conditioned to talk about it from the Christian perspective and sometimes the, the it overlaps but what I'm I'm never suggesting that anybody needs Jesus ever you are connected to the source yourself you are a direct connection and so with that we are here for a reason and the reason is written in the constellations is written in time it's all that and we are making an energetic shift from the age of pisces to the age of aquarius and it's important for you to know your assignment <laughs> it's important for you to know what you're up to what you are here to do and that might mean that you do work in this reality you know like but what we're doing is breaking down the old reality and building a new one now, the thing that's really interesting is that the age of Aquarius won't officially start for 300 years. <laughs> I don't say this stuff often because it, you know, it's, it, people don't understand the technology of it. Like the universe is a ebb, it ebbs and flows, right? And we're, we're now beginning to build the mindset. We're beginning to build the consciousness we're beginning to make the choices. We're beginning to see the new world. 
in a way that will allow us to bring in the age of Aquarius. But we got to fucking break down white supremacy first. <laughs> it has to be, you have, you know what I mean? Like you have to, un you have to deconstruct the reality that we're in to build the reality that is coming. And it's sort of a thing that happens simultaneously. One thing goes on, you know, while the other one is happening. And so we're deconstructing white supremacy right now. And, and what does that look like, right? What does that look like for you personally? It looks like for me on the most intimate level, it looks like really recognizing that I have power in my life, that I don't have to give my power to another, that I can, that I'm here for something, that I'm not here to serve other people, that I'm not here to just, and nothing is bad about this stuff, right? But I feel like as a woman, I was told that you're here to be a partner, you're here to be a mother, and you're here to be a wife. And I actually am not here. Those are the things that are those things are significant for me, but they're not the totality. They're not even the majority of what I'm here to do. And as women, for me, I'm here to break down the idea and the constructs and the mindsets around what women are capable of, what their, what their value is, and how they should show up in the world. So those ideas have to be confronted. Those practices have to be confronted. Those ways of being, all of that has to be confronted. And we do it in the most subtle and mundane ways that then show up in our lives in new practices and new behaviors and new ways of being. You know, it's like one of the things that I'm always aware of, it's so fascinating to me. Like um, there's some countries where women are not even getting married anymore. They're just having children. Like or rarely, right? Like I think Denmark has a very low rate of marriage. They're not marrying. They are, you know, there are other countries where they don't even exchange rings anymore, right? So so these human systems that we have created all sorts of rituals and desires and practices and behaviors around that have, you know, forced us into navigating our lives, these systems are coming undone. It will get to the point where women won't find the value in being somebody's wife you know it's you know it's we we did those things because our mothers needed a husband because she couldn't find a job to, to make enough money to do it on her own right but now the world is changing so we can we will begin to create new realities and hey hi how are you we got my chocolate notes. yeah you can have some Erin just walked in i'm hi, tempted, to, tempted to invite her to come into the um she has on these really cute leggings anyway so hi and tyler's here too <laughs> um so we are in the process of breaking down one reality and rebuilding another and we do that through our own consciousness, though. We do that through the way, thank you, sorry about that. Um, we do that through the way we participate by transforming our own minds and our own um, understanding of these systems and how they relate to us and how we relate to them. So, like, I'm just using marriage as an example. You know, it gets to the point where those social constructs and that we all agreed upon and participated in, those constructs become obsolete. And we begin to find new ways and create new ways to live our lives based upon what we choose for ourselves. But the process of reframing your value is a challenging one. You know, I remember when I got divorced, I don't know why I'm using marriage as the example, but I remember when I got divorced and I started dating another person, maybe it was about, you know, um, maybe about a year after I got divorced. And I remember asking myself, are you about to start doing the same thing with this man that you did with the other man where you start wondering, what are we doing? And where is this going? Are you going to do that again so that you can end up being somebody's wife when you actually hate it being somebody's wife? Like, you're going to do this just because 
this is the cycle and now you're going to just jump back into it. And I made a choice in that moment and I made a choice that I was not going to, I made a choice. I remember hearing myself say, it was the institution that was the problem, not the person. You weren't married to a bad person. You were in an institution, in a system that was bad. So don't go back into the system thinking that you're going to do it differently because the system is what it is. And so that's what we get to do with all of these systems, the system of health, the system of relationship, education. We get to question all of these systems and begin to add new um, consciousness and new understanding and new structures according to what our real needs are. Like we understand right now that our children are being educated in a construct in a school system that is um, dilapidated emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and doesn't really educate them to being who they're really here to be. It educates them to working for someone and, and um, ha allowing their energy to be drained by another being. And so all of these things are coming undone, which brings me to Mars and Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a Mars day and Mars is about Mars is the embodiment of your life. It is the embodiment. It's how you use your energy through your body, your work, your attractions, like literally that and Pisces is endings. And so Mars is moving through Pisces. So we are in a shutting down of one of the last legs of the age of Pisces. We are closing out. Um, the ways that we have given our power over to others. That was Venus retrograde and um, Venus retrograde in Capricorn earlier this year. And we've had a few retrogrades where we have really had to do the work to bring our power back to ourselves. The ways that we wait on other people, like, you know, like you've heard me say, when you, when you vote somebody for somebody and you elect them for something, there's an assumption there that you're giving them your power, your vote to go then do something in the world based upon your agreement with it, <laughs> based upon you saying, I approve of this. Those systems are beginning to deteriorate and go away. The way that we have, ha the way we hand our health over to doctors. I'm really fascinated by that. If you ever talk to doctors, people do not question doctors often and just take their what you know their wisdom as what is true and that is starting to come undone we no longer can trust western medical doctors with our health because they are um infiltrated by the propaganda machine that is the who are the the what are the people that make the medicines what do they call the pharmaceuticals. the pharmaceuticals, right? The doctors are owned by pharmaceuticals. So no longer... And the system was created by white men. <laughs> and this is... To serve white men and their power interests. That's right. And the system was created by white men to serve white men and their power interests. It's true. It's absolutely true. That's true. That's right. Why don't you come People. over and be in the conversation with me? <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. My bankers <laughs> Okay, great. Now. All right. I'm she has on these really cute leggings, you all. You can't see. Okay, perfect. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, let's uh, get it. Okay, perfect. Good morning, everybody. Yes, so Aaron is here. Yay. The, 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 the snakes and leggings. I love the snakes and leggings. We have a couple minutes before yes. the doorbell. Right? Okay, great. So, so what we're talking about is Mars and Pisces at the final degrees, and Pisces is endings. And this Piscean system where we've all been in the pot together, you know, doing all the same things, agreeing to all these, creating these standards that everybody has to adhere to. Well, to most of it have just been on the receiving end of the overall structure. Of course. And they have unwillingly agreed <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> okay. Because we are asleep. That's right. I mean, we are not But asleep. we are waking up. Yes. Yes. Collective we. We are the collective we. We are waking up. So Pisces is the subconscious. It is mm -hmm. the collective. It is the collective unconscious, right? So these things that have previously been unconscious are no longer as such. It's kind of exciting. Yes. It can be overwhelming for many, but it is also exciting. Because it is, the veil yeah. is off and the truth is, is coming out. That's right. And it is overwhelming as well. It can, I, I want to acknowledge that because I find that it is sometimes, it's not as overwhelming now that I have other people. Uh -huh. When I was more alone in it, it was overwhelming. 
Mm-hmm. 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 That makes sense. Um, I don't feel as overwhelmed anymore. I feel more. You can't mostly get me when you're mostly talking. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Yeah. Um, hmm. oh. oh, thank you, Tyler. You're yeah. so welcome. Um, oh, brave, brave. Yes. Oh, oh nice. yes. That's fantastic. Yeah, sparkly one. It's sparkly oh. out of verse. Oh, great. I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So with Mars and Pisces and the sun and Taurus. Now, here's the thing that like, the sun won't be in Taurus again until next year. And when it is, Mars won't be here. Mm-hmm. Mars will be somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So these energies are rare. They do not come by often. So it is important that we use them. See, somebody loves your leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's right. I'm going to go get some of those. Um, it is important that we use the energy while we have it because it is gone. So here's the question. Where are where are you needing to close out your relationship to the old reality that's dying? Where are you needing to become more responsible for your own health? Mm-hmm. Where that's are you needing? Point. It is. Yeah. Taurus is your body in the earthly realm. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Your senses. Um, where are you needing to, to really understand your values? Where what values are going are becoming obsolete? What did you value before that you don't value anymore? These things, these are collective things, right? Like there was a, like I said, there was a time when I was a Christian, and I really believed in these things. But now I'm understanding that, oh, I don't need an intermediary between me and the and the Creator. Like right. I am Creator, right? Like these are things that you have to become aware of so that you can. Stop the behavior, stop leaking the energy and reassign it in a way that is to your new value system and what your assignment is on the planet right now. And I can't help but to think of um, what Pluto is doing and where Pluto is as the umbrella over the top. I know. And and the structure reset. Right? Pluto. Which structures are you divesting from? Yes. Which structures are set up to cause harm to you, and which ones can you no longer be a member of? Yes. How do you restructure? How do you allow it to fall apart and exit through the Scorpio nodal doorway? Get she been and studying, y'all. I've she been, been studying. I've been, I've been doing it, and it's and it, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. She, Oh my and, God. <laughs> well, I'm a double Scorpio, so yes, yes, I need to know yes, because, yes, like you said, if I don't take advantage of the positions when they're there, then I got to, it's a lot easier to just go with that flow because it's, right. it's a setup, it's already there. So then when you get the inklings, then you follow them and then you move it and then it's moved. That's so, right. That's yes. right. Oh, I love it. I just love this. This is, this is my happy space. When, when people start to really speak astrology and understand the practical how it's happening mm-hmm. in your life. It's how it's happening in the heavens, but then how it's happening in your life. And one of the things that's really important as we are divesting our energies from all sorts of things is right now, like, just cut your losses. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Cut your losses. Like, we don't have a lot of time to be angry and blaming and finger pointing. I mean, I do feel like I need to, like, kick the white system in the back of its fucking balls and you know i do like i, I you know it's been here for 400 years so i yes I, but and right. we just have to do our part of it that's right like we don't have to be responsible for the whole lecture right size. but i i feel like i need to bitch and complain about it a little bit uh-huh, like i have uh-huh, it's uh-huh. it's so triggering for me like what's going on but right. but you know so like for instance this this massacre that happened in Buffalo yesterday, like we have to stop thinking that politicians are going to do the work to make us safe in this world. That's not how it works. If it ha- if it was, it would have happened already, right? So well, yeah, I mean the entire setup is the system is a system of harm. That's and right. So there's no way that that could create safety because that's not the way it was structured. That's right. That's why it's falling apart. And that's why it's that's fun. why everyone has to get over the brainwashing, except that it happened for those that it happened for, and just be like, I see you now, and I'm leaving, because 
when we take our energy out, then it collapses because there's the energy's got to move, so you can't clog it anymore with the wrong stuff because then the better stuff can't flow through. That's right. And if you're in the system thinking that it's going to work for you, you just continue to get disappointed. Yeah. You just continue to get failed over and over and over again, which creates yeah. lots of frustration. So the work is just to exit. And the first yes, thing you little do... little by little. That's right. Sometimes it's abrupt, like that's in right. eclipses, and some, most of the time it's little by little. And it's, and it's questioning yourself. What is the value here? What am I doing? How am I participating? Do I need this? How am I showing up? Mm -hmm. like it's really questioning yourself. The mind, if you question it, then you will slowly but surely unravel it. Mm -hmm. You have to be gentle with yourself, though. You have to understand, we've been in this system for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So this is something you want to do through an act of compassion and grace mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. self-love. You have to regulate your nervous system. You know, but it's a, it's, a, it's a total shift that happens slowly and surely over time. The moon is in Sag. And the moon crosses, whenever the moon is in Sag, it crosses the galactic center at the 26th degree um, or the 27th degree in Sagittarius. And that's the, the, like the womb of the universe. So it's like all this creative energy is coming in. And the creative energy comes in to support us in our new endeavors. Adventures. Especially ideas. Well, adventures, because oh it's the movement. The That's idea is a little later in Aquarius. That's right. Yeah. Oh it's sticking. She's studying. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, great. I'm so happy. Okay, perfect. So, it's, you know, with, with the Sag energy, it's... Um, it's important to be hopeful. And it's important to know... to to be hopeful in yourself. I feel like that was the most challenging thing for me. I don't think that that, I don't think you deal with that because mm -hmm. you know your show up and your hard work and all of that. But I had to really get clear because first of all, I didn't know what I was creating. The class, mm -hmm. all the stuff that I created was not already there. Like I had not seen it before. So I just was like, huh? I was wandering around like this for a long time. But you have to put your hope in yourself. Mm -hmm. You do. You have to know, no matter what, I'm going to show up for myself. No matter what, I'm going to show up and listen. No matter what, I'm going to show up and try. And and no matter what, I'm going to show up and fail. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, it's just show up for it. Show up for the failure. Show up for all of it. Because that's how you do it, one step at a time. And that's how you rebuild the trust. And that's where you have your reference points to the trust. Can you answer and let him in and let him know? I'll be right there. Um, that's where you can actually track it because you track for the progress and you track for the promises that you keep for yourself and those are the ones you only really can know if you've kept or not because you know if you did it. And so little by little you keep the promises and you keep the trust and then you build the trust and you expand the trust and you have more confidence in what you're doing and why you do it, then you have a better sense of if it fits for you or it doesn't fit for you, then you're on your way. I'm so and that's really all, I mean, that's all it is, because you need to be directed from within. Yes. That's all. All right, you guys. That's all we got. I got to go, I gotta go okay. talk to the bank. Go. The bank arrives. Go talk to the bank. Bye, everybody. All right. That's great. Tyler, come say hello to everyone. Please. Sam. Come on. Okay, great. Okay, everyone. This is Tyler. <laughs> Hi everyone. So Tyler, it's a we just had okay, Tyler's so Tyler's a Virgo, like I am. And Tyler is our so we can't do anything without Tyler here. <laughs> I'm the supportive energy in this space here. And I'm so grateful for her. Isn't she beautiful? Thank you. Look we at her match. I know we do match. We do match. But look at her face. Isn't she just she's so pretty? She's such a <laughs> pretty <you>. lady. <laughs> so anyway, lady. how was the eclipse for you? Oh, I think it's been a lot of, um, you know, I'm a self reflector. So yeah. I just feel like it's been more of my normal self reflection. Mm -hmm. um, but I do notice that I have been picking up on um, 
ways that I feed into like this the systems mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. however we want to describe mm-hmm. it. Um, ways that I am conditioned to like automatically function in that space. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've just been like picking up on small things and just being like like how you were talking about Mm -hmm. you know we talk about men all the time Mm -hmm. um but even small things like oh so and so didn't reach out to me and like I have this automatic like internalization thing Mm -hmm. that I've been like socialized to do Mm -hmm. and I just had a moment yesterday and I was like no that's not that's not it (laughs) this is probably the real thing and then Mm -hmm. when the person finally did contact me it was like exactly what I thought it was is what it was not like what these systems have been telling me Ooh, that it had to be you know what i mean that's right yes so i think that's what the eclipse thank you has been like for me congratulations on <laughs> thank that you. you eclipsed the old behavior that was a conditioning yeah that really wasn't serving you yeah and what is emerging is a new way of being that actually is more aligned to your authentic yeah, exactly. self Glory to God. All right, y'all. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all we got today. And I am, yeah, I love y'all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love that.